Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. Okay, welcome to our class today for KSSM Science Form 2. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friends. In our previous lesson, we have learned about subtopic 6.1, which is the properties of acid and alkalis. Today, we will continue with the second subtopic, which is 6.2, about neutralization. Okay, do you still remember what we have learned in our previous class? It's about acid and alkalis. What is the properties of acid and alkali? Okay, the first one is acid tastes sour. Correct. And alkali? Alkali tastes bitter. Okay, what will happen? If both acid and alkalis is mixed together, uh, that's what we will learn today. What will happen through the process of neutralization? Our second subtopic is about neutralization. Okay, in this subtopic, we have two learning standard to be achieved. The first learning standard is to explain the neutralization reaction okay to explain with example the use of neutralization reaction in daily life okay what will happen if acids and alkali is mixed together so the process of mixing between acid and alkalis, we call it as neutralization. How it happened? In neutralization, acid will lose its acidity. Uh, it means it lost all the properties of acid like sour taste, uh, corrosiveness, Okay, the pH uh, between uh, 0 to 6, uh, all the properties of acid. And then the alkali also loses its alkalinity, loses the taste of bitter, loses the uh, corrosiveness, uh, loses the soapy feel, and all the properties of alkali. Okay. And this can be done through a method we call it as titration. Uh, we will do this uh, activity in our laboratory when uh, we can uh, do the learning process in face-to-face -face in our school. Okay, what is the titration methods or process? Okay, acid is added slowly to the alkali until the color of indicator changes into colorless. And then we will use phenethylene as indicator. Okay, one of the method to uh, know the acidity or alkalinity of acid and alkali uh, that we have learned in previous subtopic okay we can use phenolphthalein what is phenolphthalein okay phenolphthalein is a colorless indicator that will turn into purple color when we add it into alkali so through this method we will add phenolphthalein into an alkali solution and then we will add acid slowly to the alkali until the color of purple of phenolphthalein is changed 
into chylalis. So what happened to the acid and alkali can be shown by this equation. The word equation for neutralization. When acid is mixed to alkali, okay, the reaction will produce salt and water. That's why the alkali and acid loses its properties. So, this process, we call it as neutralization. When acid and alkali loses its property to produce water and salt. So, uh, different acid and alkalis will produce different salt. When we add different acid into the uh, different alkalis, so it will produce different type of salt. For example, when we use hydrochloric acid and we mix it with sodium hydroxide, it will produce sodium chlorides, uh, the type of salt, and water. Okay, so the name of sodium chloride is coming from chlorine, okay, chlorine, and then chlorine from the acid, and the uh, sodium is coming from the alkali. Okay, if we mix sulfuric acid with potassium hydroxide, what type of salt it will produce? based on this uh, method okay we take the sulfur and the potassium okay so it will form potassium sulfate and water okay guess what is the name of salt will be produced when we mix nitric acid and sodium hydroxide correct it will produce sodium nitrate and water okay so the name of salt is started with the name of alkali and ended with the name of acid can you get this formula Okay, and the, another one. Can you try this? What is the name of salt that can be produced when we add nitric acid and potassium hydroxide? Hmm. The blue color plus the red color. Okay, the blue color is potassium. The red color is nitric. Okay, very good. Okay, the answer is potassium nitrate plus water. Very good. Okay, next we look at the salt that formed by the alkali from our previous let's uh, from the previous slide. Okay, so based on this table. Based on this table, so we use the name of alkali for the name of salt. Okay, so the type of alkali, for example, sodium hydroxide, okay, will produce sodium salt or natrium salt. Potassium hydroxide will produce potassium salt. Calcium hydroxide will produce calcium salt. And ammonium solution will produce ammonium salt. Okay, and then what type of salt that can be formed by acid? Based on the name of the acid. Okay, look at this table. Okay, if the acid we use is hydrochloric acid. So, the name of salt is chloride salt. If we use nitric acid, it's nitrate salt. 
if we use sulfuric acid, it's sulfate salt. Phosphoric acid, phosphate salt, carbonic acid, carbonate salt, and ethanoic acid, ethanoic salt. Okay, so I hope you can understand the formula how to give the name for a uh, salt that produced by neutralization reaction. If we uh, mix sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid, so we can get the natrium chloride. Uh, if we mix the natrium salt with the sulfuric acid, so it will produce natrium sulfate. Okay, if we use calcium hydroxide, we mix it with carbonic acid, so it will produce calcium carbonate. Okay, I hope you understand how to give the name for the salt that produced through the neutralization between acid and alkali. Okay, now we continue with the second learning standard. It's about the application of neutralization in daily life. What are the application? What are the use of neutralization uh, process or reaction in our daily life? Okay, the first one is the action of bacteria on food in our mouth will produce acid. Okay, this thing happen every day. Okay, look at uh, the first picture over there. Look at the tooth. Tooth decay because of acid that produced by the bacteria after we eat uh, some food. Okay, so how to make, how to kill the bacteria and to neutralize the acid in our mouth? From this to this. We want to change our teeth color, yellowish color because of acid, into white color. Okay, of course, we use the toothpaste to brush our teeth. Why? Because toothpaste contain alkaline substances that can neutralize acid produced by the bacteria in our mouth. Okay, so that's why we need to brush our teeth at least twice a day. Okay, to neutralize the acid that produced by the bacteria. Okay, and then what are another application of neutralization in our everyday life? Can you give me some example? I just give you uh, the first example using of uh, toothpaste which is alkaline to neutralize the acid that produced by bacteria in our mouth. Okay, very good. So, the other example is using shampoo. Okay, using shampoo because our skin will produce acid and then the shampoo is alkaline so it will neutralize the acid that produced by our skin of our head okay but if we use too much shampoo okay our hair and our skin will become alkaline okay so that's why we use hair conditioner. Okay. Hair conditioner is to neutralize back the alkaline of shampoo. To make it neutral. Okay. So we use the hair conditioner into our hair. Okay. Next. Okay. We always use the detergent to clean. To clean our clothes. Okay, uh, because we always sweating. Okay, sweat is acidic. Okay, and then we want to neutralize the acid 
uh, on our shirt and kills the bacteria so we use detergent that uh, have the properties of alkali okay so if we use too much okay if we use too much detergent what will happen to our clothes our clothes will become crumpled and uh, not so smooth ada jadi uh, keras sikit lah because of acidic substances of detergent so what we will use what we need to use is we use the fabric softener to neutralize back the uh, alkalinity of detergent do you have any example of a uh, product that we use every day that apply the knowledge of neutralization okay let me show you another example okay this is calcium hydroxide okay how we use the calcium hydroxide in our everyday life uh, that is our assignment uh, Okay, number two, antacids. Okay, antacid like Gaviscon. Okay, to neutralize the acidic in our stomach. Okay. Okay, so that's all. Habido. Okay, that's all about. Uh, neutralization okay that's all about neutralization I hope you can understand and uh, you can achieve our learning standard the first learning standard is uh, to understand about what is neutralization and how neutralization occurs and then number two is uh, to give example uh, of neutralization that we use in everyday life to all my students please complete your learning module that uh, provided before the PKP in uh, science process skill books and also practice eco okay to make sure you understand and master this subtopic till we meet again in our next class uh, thank you for watching this video wallahu alam assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and goodbye